In this experiment, you're going to be investigating projectile motion. Before you begin, please ensure that you have all proper PPE, including safety glasses and any other PPE that your instructor requires. Also, as always, please make sure that you clean and sanitize all your equipment before and after use. Today's experiment will be very similar. You're going to be using a Nerf gun of any type. Uh, it might like look like this, it might look like something else, but you're going to be using it to measure the distance that the dart travels from the angle that you take off from. So, if everybody's ready, let's begin. The setup for this experiment is simple. You'll start by setting up a measuring device to set the angle of launch for your dart. You'll lay out a measuring tape, the length of the room, and then you'll simply launch your dart at that angle and see where it lands. It's recommended that you start with an angle under 15 degrees because these darts can fly a great distance and what you'll probably find is that if your angle is too steep, you'll end up hitting the wall and you won't be able to measure. So you'll probably have to take a few shots at it to get your angle right and then you're going to have to have somebody set up at the end near where it lands but out of the way of the dart to kind of determine exactly where it lands. You may find that you have to try a few different angles until you determine the best angle in order to ensure that you can get a decent distance but also a marked landing without hitting a wall or any other obstruction along the way. Uh, depending on your type of gun, depending on how much room you have available, this could vary quite a bit and that's why you're recommended that you start well below 15 degrees because you may be limited on the amount of space you have available. Also, when you're setting up your gun for takeoff, try to line the end of your gun up with the zero on your tape. Of course, it's not going to be at ground level, so it's not perfect, but the measurement you take down at the other end is going to be, isn't going to be very perfect either. In fact, you'll have to have somebody set up down there somewhere nearby, but out of the way, so that they can get an approximate reading when it lands, because things happen so quickly. Once you've recorded the angle of takeoff and the distance that the dart traveled, the experimentation part of this lab is complete. Please put all the equipment away and make sure that you clean and sanitize everything for the next group. You can then continue on with the lab report provided by your instructor to complete all the remaining questions. If you're doing this lab virtually, your instructor will give you the data that you require in order to complete the lab. As always, if you have any further questions, please contact your instructor.